Hello and welcome back to Tech It. Uh, last time we built this rather cool looking sphere up on this tower, ready to house our nuclear reactor. Yeah! I have put on connected textures, but it hasn't affected the, um, the reinforced class for some reason. It has made these windows look rather cool. Um, so, first things first, we need to build our reactor chambers and our reactor core. Um, obviously, and we need some heavily insulated cables and stuff like that. Um, what's the way in? There he is. So, we've built this before, much, much earlier on in this series, but let's build it again. It's a uh, reactor. You need a nuclear reactor, and for that you need chambers and all sorts of malarkey, advanced alloys, advanced circuits, a generator, and these things which are advanced alloys again, mixed with heat dispersers which use coolant cells, oh my god there's so much crap that goes into these things, it's insane. So we need to make a bunch of cooling cells and a bunch of integrated reactor platings. So, cooling cells are easy enough, we just got to extract water cells. I've got a couple of hydrate. it's the same for hydration cells like plants, but you don't have to do it quite as many times, you just, do it, you just got to do it once. So it's fairly simple. Just need some tin cells. Okay, we've got ourselves a uh, stack of water cells. Let's close this door a sec. Oh. Oh yeah, it goes. Um, so now we need to put these in the extractor. Up in the machine room, which is up another one and another one. Machinery, there we go. Um, and we can overclock this, I think it maybe already is overclocked. Extractor, there we go. So now this should... This will take them down and um, put them somewhere, but it's going to run out of space because they don't stack. Which is a bit of an annoyance sometimes. Um, where's it going to take them? I'm going to take them and put them probably in this one at the end, unsorted. Yeah, yeah it will. Uh, there's a lot of crap in here as well. What's that? Copper cable. So as it goes in we're going to take them out. Um, cooling cells. And... How many do we need exactly? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, roughly. Um, ouch. <laughs> so that's 14. That's not too bad, actually, is it? But then we need some, a lot of them, a lot of the, the cells to go into the um, actual reactor to cool it down. So there's our nuclear reactor. Whew, built that and we've got five chambers and we're good to go. We're good to put it in our sphere. Okay, so this is my reactor. It's set up properly here. Um, it's got a wire running down here. I'm gonna connect that to an MFSU, which should go where this glass block was. Like that. Now we just need um, some uranium, obviously, quite important. <laughs> um, so we'll go and get some of that. Whee! Obviously, you need um, empty cells in which to put the uraniums, which are made out of tin. Um, if you, if I'm rushing here, then it's because I've already done this in an earlier video. Um, I'll put a link to it here to show you how it's done. But I'll go through some bits again. So we need some empty cells. Let's get 32 and then we uh, grab so grab whatever uranium we've got. We've got five, it's not really enough. Uh, but of course we have a shit ton of matter down here just sitting, waiting to be turned into something useful. 23 red matter. Let's see how many uh, 
uranium that gives us. Let's have a look. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be tons, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, so we put that there, and we put the uranium here. Oh uh, yeah, look at all that uranium. It's kind of a scary amount. We'll just make a stack of it for now. Um. Cool. So now we put the uranium in the. I think you have to, uh, you have to either extract it or um. Or something, compress it maybe. Let's try both of them. Compressor. Yeah, there we go. So we have to compress the uranium into bars, and then we'll put the bars into the cells to make our uranium cells. Uh, where's this going? Can I grab one? Give me one. Give me one. No. They must be going right to the end. Oh, I don't know. Have I sorted it properly? It's, it's got it's got a bit confused because it's got all my cells in it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Wonder how many cells are stuck in the system. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's all of them. Let's delete a few of those. Good. So we got some uranium. I'm just, just going to put it in the sorter so it puts it in the right place. From now on, into the bars chest. Uh, which is that one? That's better. Now, what you got to do is combine it with the the cells like this, and you get uranium cells. And they don't stack, obviously, like uh, like all the other things. They don't stack. It's a bit of a pain. But we can just go and put them in the reactor. Okay, uh, let's just take a chest with us, um, so we can put a bunch of stuff somewhere useful inside the reactor chamber so we have to keep coming back and forth fly up here oh it looks cool isn't it just hanging in the middle of that sphere I'm loving it so we'll put down the chest um, here and inside that we'll put all the cells just so we can keep them somewhere for now and those um, we need some more circuits for the reactor plates um, lots of them like 20 something <laughs> it's, it's it's a bit of a nightmare it's a nightmare because nothing stacks so it makes everything a real pain in the ass to, to build okay so this is how it's set up with all the items uh, we need to put the uranium in still but for now we're good um, we'll just stick all the spare cooling cells that I got put them in here and take these out and all the uranium and um, we also need to get the MFSU the right way around. There we go. So it should fill up. Now we put in uranium. Listen to that lovely sound. Oh, now this should be getting power. It's not. Oh, it's because it's, it was right before, actually, wasn't it? I was thinking of the transformer. Now I broke a window. I can't fix it because I have no glass on me. Oh, bugger, I'll fix it later. I just, uh, yeah. There we go. Power. Power overwhelming. Right. Let's put the rest of the uranium in. Um, I need to make some more cells. <gasps> Too many. <laughs> Of a couple. Oops, I knew I'd do that. <laughs> I knew I'd do that. Alright. Now, ho hopefully, this is a setup which shouldn't over overheat. Um, that's the idea. And there we go, all the uranium is in. Now, we'll come back and check on it every so often to check that it's not overheating. But I think it should be fine. It's making a lot of power for us. There we go. Filling up this MFSU quite nicely. Um, yeah, it's going good. Now we'll just put the rest of this uranium in here because it's obviously gonna, it's going to run out at some point. So we need to have the spare um, ready to refill. 
Good. Good. That's our uh, reactor up and running. Now, there's a couple more things I would like to do. And for ease, I will show you how to do it in an interesting way because it's uh, using UU matter rather than buckets of water. What you can do is, is you can make water. Um, so I'll grab some UU. And we go to a crafting bench. Take all that out. There we go. Now, how is it? Ah, there we go. So it's two in the middle, like that. And it makes a water source block. Now these stack, unlike buckets, which makes them incredibly useful. <laughs> As you can see. Isn't that good? One st whole stack of water. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to fill up the sphere with water, which so it should cool... It will cool the reactor even more, basically, because running water over the top of the reactor cools it. Um, let's just have to fill this hole in, because I've still forgot to bring some... There we go. So there we go, I'm just going to put it all over the reactor. Now, it's it's a bit weird, because it's a still block, it's not a source block. Um, not really quite sure how you'd make it flow as normal water would. It's a bit of a bummer, to be honest. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's kind of like magic water. Um, I kind of think it looks pretty neat, though. I wonder what will make it flow. Oh well. I've never really used this UU matter water before. It's kind of strange, isn't it, that it won't go down? Oh, that one did. What made that happen? It's interesting. Um. Wow. Uh. Okay. Ah. Pfft, I'm confused now. That seems to have worked. So yeah, this isn't really working, so um, I'll, I'll work out how to fix it for next time. Um, but for now, we've got an up and running reactor. We've got uh, plenty of plenty of power coming out of it, and next time I'm gonna use the power for something else. Like so, rather than rather than just putting it into our grid over in this tower, we're gonna have this reactor power. Um, our TNT cannon. Remember the one I showed you a while back? The the one I had built as a prototype? Well, I'm going to build that properly again in the castle and I'm going to have it powered by this nuclear reactor. So that's going to be cool. <laughs> um, yeah. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!